Well, I said we needed something bigger. I think we got something bigger. At California Creek, third season mine boss Fred Lewis is taking delivery of a piece of game-changing equipment. This is something a guy can smile about. That he's gambling will propel him to his 500-ounce goal. <sighs> well, I made a decision. I'm going to go all in. We need a big machine that we can rely on, or we're never going to hit that goal. Three quarters of the way in, Fred's season is finally on the upswing. He's banked 111 ounces, more than his entire haul last year. Now, he's investing his slim profits on a lease for a 460 excavator, a 51-ton dirt mover with a five-yard bucket. That deck is huge compared to our other one. Everything about this thing is huge. <laughs> I love it. Man, <laughs> look at all the grease points. Holy. Well, our biggest problem right now, the equipment we have, it's not up for the task of what we're trying to make it do. You know, right now, the 250th track system is so up. All it can do is feed our plant, which puts a lot more stress on the 220. Fred's 250 excavator track is bust, leaving it stuck feeding the plant. The smaller 220 must dig for pay dirt in the freedom cut and clear waste tailings, but it can't keep up, forcing shutdowns. The bigger, more powerful 460 will take over digging pay and keep the pay pile high and the gold coming in. All right, well, it's official. We've upped our game. 460's headed out to the cut, and then hopefully get some pay dug up. Put this puppy in action. <laughs> he looks like a little kid in a candy store, man. <laughs> this is what mining is all about here in the Yukon. In comparison, our 250, it takes about three and a half minutes to load a 30-ton rock truck. This thing here will probably take a minute and a half. Just like a champion. Hey, Buzz. I'm just actually excited that we got the 460. And finally, we're able to move the amount of dirt that we need to. The plant just needs to run. The 460 excavator fills the rock truck in half the time, doubling the gold-rich pay to the wash plant. This is going to make things happen. It's amazing, you know, what a five-yard bucket will do, bro. We're definitely running circles around the 220. <laughs> It's a big gamble getting it here. We really don't have the money to cover it, but hopefully the work it's going to do is going to pay for that gamble. Oh, great. What the Oh, no. doesn't sound good. Sounds like swinging issues. This sucks. Yeah, JB, man, I got some uh, issues here at the 460. I need you to come over here and give me a hand so we can assess the situation, see what the hell is wrong with this thing. I'll head right up there in a second. Man, this machine is supposed to be our major game changer. That pisses me off. Break it again! <laughs> it's it's making make noise it. or something when you turn it. It's horrible. I need yeah. you to jump up there. I oh, swing it. Okay. Oh, I right. check this out. What do you want me to do? Just kind of turn it nice and slow? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just All take right. it easy and freak it. Sounds good. See what it says. If it can't spin, the 460 excavator is useless. Good, great. That don't sound good at all. <laughs> no, man. Holy so smoke. The swing transmission on the fuel tank side. 
You can feel, you've narrowed it down which one it was. Yeah, you can feel it, man. It's horrible. Wow. The 460 excavator has two swing transmissions. They connect to a ring under the turret to spin it 360 degrees. One transmission has broken. It needs to be hoisted out and a new one slotted in. We know we got to replace that. Who knows how long we'll have to wait for parts on that. Hmm. What's up? Why you guys look mopey? It's <laughs> always one thing or another, isn't it? All right, lay it on me. 460. <laughs> swing motor, swing transmission. The transmission is, you can, t you can hear the gears in there. They're grinding and. It's a major. <sighs> so she's down, down, down. Down, down. We just got it. I know. Swing motor. Swing motor is what uh, helps the turret move. With that down, we can't use it. We can't do anything with it. And that task is way too big of a task for my guys. So I'm going to have to call a mechanic, which is going to cost more money. But uh, I feel like we're overcommitted at this point, and we got to bite the bullet, get it fixed. The big problem right now is we're running out of pay. We're going to have to shut down. I don't understand how every piece of equipment we get breaks, I swear. This place is cursed. But the thing is, it's not just us. Uh, you know, look at our neighbors. Mm -hmm. Dropping left, right, and center. I don't think that's due to a curse, though. That's just how the Claytons are. They just constantly break <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what's up, Fred? What's up, Hey. How are you doing? Uh, this week, Fred went all in on a 460 excavator to dig deep into what he hopes is gold-rich bedrock to pay it off he needs to improve on his 16 ounce a week average. All right, guys. You ready? Drum roll. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven point zero two. Worth $12,000. It brings their season total to 118 ounces, but way short of what he needs. Well, yeah. I don't know what to say, guys. I think that's one of our worst goal ways up in the Yukon. This sucks. Honestly, this doesn't pay the fuel we ran last week. Yeah. That's disheartening. I wish I could have given you guys better news. We hit a dry spot and we had a bad week, both at the same time.